When Rafael Nadal is in the mood in Roland Garros, no player in tennis history could even compete with him. Seven times Rafa played Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic in the French Open final, and it goes without saying that Rafa won all of them. So not only a 100% winning record in finals, but he even handed a bagel to each one of them. Imagine that he did this to two of the greatest of all time. What would be the fate of the other players? Well, let's find out. 12 years ago in the fourth round, Rafa faced an incredible clay court player and one of his best friends on the tour, Juan Monaco. Monaco reached the peak of his career that year, winning four titles, three of them on clay, and earned his place in the top 10 ranking. But will this be enough to even challenge Rafa? Let's see what happened to the poor guy. Before we begin, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content. Thank you so much for watching and without further ado, let's get started. Who'd have thought it? That really is some impressive record. 48 wins and one loss. Wow. This is only Grand Slam, isn't it? Champion here, 2003. And then it's been the Dark. Nicely done, although Rafa still. Bad bounce. Oh. Monster serve down the set. Yeah, and any time. Yeah, I realized this morning I forgot the pack. That'll yeah. wrap it up. Nadal continues his turn. He played. Well, he's trying different things.
Noch? No, he's missed one. No, he's put it long. <laughs> well, do you think you're back in the rally? Yep. No. games in a row. No. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Incredibly, it's now 11 straight games for Rafael Nadal. go against Monica. Ah! <laughs> Huge draw as Monica wins a point. No, no, no. What am I going to do to win a game against this guy? Oh! So, yeah, I'll win a point behind the second <laughs> serve by my help. There it is. Nadal has 